So, hey YouTubers, we are back. Yes, we are back. And we are going to show you how to cover up the step two, since we have to cover it up for work anyway. Yep. And the products we have is this and this. This Glamouflage by Hard Candy. Yeah. It's their, um... Tuck 2 Heavy Duty Concealer. Yep. And this is the fair, the fair Skin one. Right? Yeah, Fair Nine... Nine seven seven. And this is really old. And it's that E1. And it's what it looks like on the inside. And this one is that beige TL3. It's more like the foundation powder. And I just more or less put it on top. Uh -huh. And when acts as like a sealant. Yeah, it kind of conceals it and keeps it in place. Uh -huh. So, first off, what I do. Yeah, you get another one of them. Yeah. <laughs> this one's about dead. <laughs> yeah. It's about the same. It was about the same size as this when we got it. Yeah. First off, I use this pencil outline it. Hope y'all can see. I think they can see a little bit of it. Okay. I should try to outline the tuck two part. Like it needs to be sharpened again. Yep. It's good enough for now. Yeah. You can't sharpen that much more, hon. I can try. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> so, this is about as much as I can get covered. So, how's that look? That's starting, that's starting to look pretty good, as you all can see. It's kind of covered. The lines are starting to disappear some. Normally it takes me two to three times. Two or three coats? Yeah, two or three coats is what I mean. Let me see what... Ew. Well, we ain't used that for a while. Nope. Well, you've been using your thing. I've been using my brace to cover up. So I guess you need to put the lid back on that and shake it. Or... Yeah. I could just throw this away. Yeah. Just get your trash can. No. I wonder if you have this. Damn, about a year? More than that. Might have to shake it up. I think you're going to have to. <laughs> we should have done that pro's video, but oh well. Well, I didn't know, because I'm not used to using concealer. Well. It's still nicely coated. Somewhat. Feels, looks yucky. I'm not supposed to look bad. Do, 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 do. Is it doing all right now, or is it still running? Watery. Well, it's more water than what I want. This is not awkward. Not awkward at all. Still looks a little runny, but I can try. Alright, it's not as bad as it was. Well, normally when we first got it, wasn't this runny looking? No. So, so y'all know this makeup's just a little bit old. 
Like a year old? Yeah, about a year old. So, I'm gonna try to get a new sponge. And just dab it in. Well, that just more or less took it off. <laughs> it did, didn't it? Yeah. Well, this is not supposed to happen. Nope. Start all over. I just have to go over with the um, foundation and do it that way because the concealer is just kind of dead. You know? I mean, it's a good product, but... Not after it gets old. Not after it gets old, it kind of blip. Oh, there's a little bit of drip drip. That's looking better. There you go. That's what we want. That's what we want. We want the poop looking stuff. Yeah, we want to look like poop coming out. That looks like a little bird doo doo. Yeah, a little turd. That's what I want. That's what I was looking for. You know, at least my finger is probably a no no. Well, that's how I get it on best. Just dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 dab. And she, she's just gonna kind of blend it outwards. Yeah, make it look more natural looking. Mm -hmm. Dab it where it looks so wet looking. I actually blend it up before I actually put the powder on. Yep. I feel like I need more and more. Pink. It really helps I do shave my arms. <laughs> Already did. Trust me, in my line of work, you don't want arm hair. You'll burn it off. Okay. I'm going to use this one. And. I have crap load of flat. Clean sponges like this. If you're sure in your makeup, it's not good using dirty sponges. Sponges on because of bacteria sharing. That kind of popped up a little bit, but. Heavy out, right? Yes. Barely noticed it. Good thing I'm pretty pelt skinned as it is. Although the camera makes me look a little bit darker than what I am. Yeah, according to the camera, you can't even see it there. Yeah. Blending in pretty well on camera though. Yeah, my little screen, you can't see it. No. I think that's pretty well it. Yeah. Yeah, but as you can see, I mean, it is a tad bit visible, but it's not like 
Oh my god, popping out your face visible. And so, someone won't, will not take a second look at that. Yeah. I think you had it on one day and... You couldn't even tell. Mm-mm. Couldn't even tell I, there was anything there. And someone says something about it, didn't they? Yeah, they're like, oh my gosh, where's your tattoo? It's there. It's, it's got something over it. Yeah. But... <clears throat> I think you got this at Walmart. Yeah, we got. It wasn't that bad either. I think we paid, paid like um, that, including what else we got, which was a um, uh, translucent finishing powder. Um, I don't recommend using this with with uh, this. Main reason is it don't really like blend well. No, it makes well, it look more pale. Yeah, more pale ish. You want something that'll kind of match your skin tone yeah, a that... little bit, and this right here really matches my skin tone a lot more than that. Yeah. Kind of glad I had this. Yep. But Hard Candy seems to be a decent little brand. Mm-hmm. Really the only makeup I own. <laughs> well, you've got most girls be, I reckon. Huh? I guess you got some girl speed. Oh, uh, yeah? Hey. Of course, there's two year olds out there who's got more makeup than me. Yeah. But yeah, um. That's the hard candy glamouflage. Mixed, mixed with uh, Avon Smooth Minerals. It's kind of like a how to and review. Yeah, a how to slash review video, which is kind of neat. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this and get a thumbs up. And hello, phone. And I will, well, we will see you again in another video tomorrow. Yes. So, adios. Bye.